we're currently going from Athens to Corinth which is where Paul made the journey. After he spoke on Mars Hill, he came down to this cosmopolitan, thriving city of Corinth to preach the gospel to the Corinthians. Imagine what Paul had to face when coming to a place which was literally based on a cult of Aphrodite, Apollo, like a, a place just full of pagan witchcraft and, and sacrifices and temple prostitution, much worse than we see in our, most of our cultures today in the West. So he would secretly tell people about Jesus, yes, and they would meet him in, in secret. They kept him in their houses, mm. not to find him. And a very difficult people to talk to about that, because, mm. um, as you say, it was a very sinful culture. Yes. His first two students who gave hospitality to St. Paul was uh, Priscilla and Aquila, mm -hmm. a couple. But then Jesus came to me, not in righteous anger or in judgment, but in love. So if this culture of Corinth had a temple of Aphrodite, we can see that once again, the mother goddess was being worshipped, which then links to Diana, Semiramis, all of the same thing. The pagan worship was going on here, and Paul had the task of coming from Athens to Corinth with the good news of Jesus Christ as he came across Europe to spread the gospel message. Speak with the tongues of men and of angels and have no love. I'm nothing more than a cracked trumpet or a bit of struck metal. I may be able to prophesy, to understand mysteries, to have immense knowledge of all things, able to move mountains even. But if I don't have love, I have nothing. Because the women would have been abused as prostitutes. Mm. So some of the Corinthian letters are very strict mm. about behavior. Yes. So maybe that's mm. why he's telling he's them right. to stay respectful mm. in church. Did you say that says in um, Greek? In Greek, synagogue Hebraeon. Oh, synagogue. So proof that the Jews were here. Mm. It wasn't the Greeks or the Romans here that wanted to be violent, it was the Jews. Yes, because they were afraid of him and of the Christianity. Because they said it was anti-Hebrew yeah. by Hebrew scripture. Because yeah. Paul originally was a Pharisee. At but, first, yeah. and then he changed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He saw the light. And yes, then yes. He stopped being violent. Yes. Mm. So he was actually 
having problems with the people that he once was, because yes. he was a Pharisee. Yes. I did what I did because I was certain that I knew what God wanted. As you are certain now. But then Jesus came to me, not in righteous anger or in judgment, but in love. with his cap. It's the same god of revolution, false god of revolution, the Freemasons symbolize. That looks an awful lot like the Statue of Liberty, does it not? It's the same goddess. The same goddess from Corinth. You know, imagine coming to a place like this and being faced with those challenges and, and having to put his fears behind him and stand boldly for Christ in a place like this. Um, it, you know, incredible. And that is the power of the Spirit of God of Jesus who works in us through our weaknesses is just the courage that the Apostle Paul had in Christ to speak boldly the truth and I think that really is a challenge for me. Look at that, that's quite moving. For this slight momentary affliction is preparing for us an eternal weight of glory beyond all comparison. 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 17. The letters Paul wrote to the people who had been converted to belief in Christ here in Corinth, the two books of Corinthians, Without love, I'm nothing. Love is patient, love is kind. Yes, yes. Because he, he wrote that to the Corinthians. Yes. These things really happened, you know? This is real, legitimate history. The Bible is history. Even if people start to forget that and start to claim the Bible's not the truth, we can see all of these places. When you read the book of Corinthians, you can see who Paul was uh, writing to. You can look into the culture and how it was and why he wrote the things he wrote to relate to their culture. But the Christian church continued in Corinth when Paul left. That also so did the pagan rituals. Yes, the Christians was uh, a few, okay. maybe 100, not more. So difficult for the Christians. Yes. But Paul's church thrived. Yes, here. but secretly. Secretly. Yeah.